Hi everyone, it's Geraldine here today and I have a tutorial for you using the new Studio Calico Keystone Cabin Collection. And I'm going to use this collection to put together a 6x8 double page spread for my uh, December Daily from last year. This is the new Christmas collection by Studio Calico and comes with some great pattern papers and fun new embellishments like puffy heart stickers, washi tape strips, alpha stickers, wood veneers, and more. And I had the pleasure of designing the journaling cards that are included with this collection. The journaling cards are double-sided and some of them even have some copper foil elements which are really fun. So I'm just going to move everything to the side first, that way I can lay out my page protectors on my workspace. And I'm using the uh, page protector that has 3 by 4 inch slots on the right hand side, and on the left hand side I'm using the page protector that has the 2 inch square slots. When I'm using this configuration of page protector, I like to normally print out 6 or 7 photos, that way there's room for embellishing, and it doesn't get too busy with um, too many photos on the left. So I'm just going to go ahead and choose my journaling cards for the right hand side first. Once that's done, I've already uh, cut out some of the pattern papers into two inch squares and I'm going to arrange that on my uh, page protector here on the left. What I really like about using pocket pages is that it's really easy to arrange um, your elements and your photos until you're happy with the placement and you don't have to worry about um, finalizing everything until the very end when you're gluing things down. So I've opened the pack of wood veneer stars and I chose two of them to use on my spread and as you can see I'm just rearranging some of my um, pattern papers until I'm happy with the look of things. So what I've decided to do is add some more embellishing on some of the pattern paint uh, sorry, the pattern paper square here, and I picked up one of the square stickers that says uh, getting in the spirit, and I adhered it directly on one of the pattern papers, and I just wanted to add a bit more embellishing, so I used one of these puffy heart stickers right on the corner of the little square, and this is a great way to add some dimension and texture to your spread. I also want to add some floating um, embellishments, kind of like that wood veneer star, but I didn't want the embellishment to be moving around in the, the slot or falling out. So what I decided to do was cut some vellum squares, and I'm just going to adhere the wood veneer star on that piece of vellum, and also probably add a sticker to this other vellum piece. And as you can see, I'm just doing a bit more rearranging. And I'm going to add one of these uh, little square stickers on the other piece of vellum. And I chose the one that says Twinkling Lights. I'm going to stick that right in the middle of that vellum piece. And to mimic the design of the other pattern paper square that I did, I'm just going to add another little puffy heart sticker on the corner. And I just wanted to add some more red to my spread. So I'm choosing this phrase that says Jingle Bells that's part of the washi tape strips. And I'm just cutting out the one phrase that says Jingle Bells. I wasn't quite sure if it would fit the entire line on the two inch square, but the nice thing is that it's trans or it's semi-transparent so that I can see kind of if it would fit. And I decided in the end that I would just uh, split that up into two lines because I think it was a little bit too long. So in the end, I cut that uh, vellum or that washi tape strip into two pieces so it says jingle at the top and then bells at the bottom. And now that there's some red at the top and at the bottom left corner, I wanted to bring some more red to the right hand side of my spread to create a visual triangle. So I'm using these alpha stickers by One Little Bird to spell out the word fun. This is a really nice and bold font and I like that it's very clean and simple. So I'm using the stickers to spell out fun, and it's easy to adhere the wood veneer star beside it. And here's a look at my completed spread. I hope this gives you some inspiration on how to use the new Keystone Cabin collection on your own Christmas projects. Thanks for watching!